And I have a question for you before you have a question for me. All right. Have I'm you ever seen a guy it. in a pie hat do the wave? Uh, no, I'm ready. You've seen it. Do you feel like you could die happy? Wow. I, I didn't even know what I was missing. Pappy Rob. Pappy Roberts. I don't even know. Pappy, you could cut some. What are we going to learn about here? Well, next paper. Bearded it's a dynamo. long title. You, okay. should, you could say palliative care in the ED, but here's a title. Prepare to take a nap because it's long. <laughs> Integration of palliative care in the emergency medicine. Improving palliative care in emergency medicine. IPAL EM collaboration. Okay, that was catchy. Let's, let's learn are. some stuff. All right. So this article is a really cool article because it helps us understand how to integrate palliative care services into the emergency department. It's a quick read and it's, a really, uh, it's chock full of a lot of really cool pearls. To start off though, we have to make sure that we understand that palliative care is not just for dying patients. That's a big myth. Palliative care really is um, about working with the patient, determining their own goals, and trying to determine how we can relieve suffering in all phases of any life-limiting condition. So, is that a, is that a unicorn? Corn farting right. a rainbow? Yeah, I, a myth upon a myth. Oh, a myth upon oh, a myth. That's right. Wow. Yeah. And God. the thing to know about palliative care services and consultation in the emergency department, it's a very limited scope of when we would consult them, but really you should consider hospice services for patients uh, whenever they have a predicted survival of six months or less. And that would be a real indication in the emergency department to really consult hospice and palliative care. Ooh. So hospice, you think hospice like, well, you're not doing too well. Yeah. You better get hospice, but that's right. six months or less. Yep. That's right.